here? Why is the park closed? Toby, didn't you read the newspaper recently? Greendale Park was going to be shut down for two weeks due to, um, maintenance? Maintenance? What? That doesn't make any sense. This park is already beautiful as it is. Why does it require maintenance? This makes no sense. Detective Toby! Detective Toby! I have an idea! Why don't we go inside the park and find out what's with all the ruckus? Jody, I'm not sure if that's such a good idea. What do you mean you can't let us enter? Let us in. I demand to speak with your park manager immediately. Margaret! I was supposed to take Doris for her nature walk today. This isn't a park you can just close down just to perform maintenance. The Blue Jays use this park often, you know. Stop right there, criminal scum! You're gonna wish your mother wasn't scared of me! Shut your mouth! Does that mean no more nature walks? No more fun in the park? I'll shut it for ya! <laughs> it's not fair. Your lawyer is gonna hear about this. Now let us through, or else my family will throw in legal documents against you. Say hello to my little friend! Doris, what are you both doing here? Oh, hello Toby. Doris and I were supposed to go out to the park for her little nature walk until we saw two soldiers patrolling the park. What a coincidence! I was gonna go on a nature walk with Toby too! I just wanted to go for a walk in the park. Is that too much to ask? I want to know what exactly the soldiers said, especially the maintenance. Not much. They refused to tell me everything. The only latest details they gave us was that the park was gonna be closed for two to three weeks. Three weeks? What kind of maintenance would they be doing to this park that could possibly last three weeks? Hi, Detective Toby. Look at this. It's a closure notice. It says, Due to high volumes of ant infestations in all parks across Greendale, the community of Strombone Enterprises has ordered the shutdown of all private and public parks for three weeks notice to exterminate and reduce the booming ant population in all of Greendale. We apologize for any inconvenience to the people of Greendale and we hope to have all parks operational by the end of the three-week closure. My sincere apologies, sincerely, Kurt Stormbone. Ugh, what nerve. Who in the wrong mind would have the right to shut down Greendale Park to exterminate ants when we haven't seen any ants around? Enterprises. I think it's about time to do some snooping and find out what this company is up to. Well, here we are, Strongbone Enterprises. Any final thoughts? Let's get our park back! If we can sneak past the officers and soldiers, we might be able to reach Mr. Strombone's office. Does that sound good? But Toby, what if we get caught? You know he's going to have us removed and banned from entering the company if we're not careful, right? Well, 
Well then, why don't we split up? You and Jody will search for clues in every empty office. If someone sees you, Jody can distract them. But what about you, Toby? Shh! Not so loud, Jody! I'm gonna snoop into Mr. Strombone's office. And with God as my witness, we will find out what Strombone is up to, or my name isn't Junior Detective Toby Robin O'Keefe. Luck out there, Toby. Please be careful, Toby. Gentlemen, why weren't we told that New York and the West Coast were in on this? I thought we had a private business deal to settle. Now I find I'm attending a Hoods convention. I do not do business with Chicago. I made a delivery. Where is my money? And you owe me one million bucks. You all made the deliveries we contracted for. Gentlemen, you can have the million today. It can be, I think the expression is blown. My plan is full, broke gentlemen. My task force, which Mr. Strap and his people smuggled across the Rio Grande from Mexico, will approach Fort Knox in motorized equipment along Bullion Boulevard, which runs past the depository here, and intersects with Gold Vault Road. This fence surrounding the depository, as Mr. Strapp reminded us, is electrified. It will be dynamited. My task force will then move to the main entrance and demolish it. By arranging through your considerable influence in shipping circles to bring through customs uninspected, all that will then remain is to descend the vaults. Where the bullion is stored. I've heard enough. I'll take my money now. Bear with me, please. Fort Knox is a bank. Like any other. Larger, better protected, perhaps, but nonetheless, a bank. It can be. I think the expression is blown. My plan is foolproof, gentlemen. It will be dynamited. What's the matter, Solo? Too big for you to handle? Gentlemen, we must respect this issue. Make yourselves comfortable. I knew there was something fishy about Mr. Strombone. I must contact the Mayor of Greendale. Strombone is not allowed to blow up our parks, nor the parks of Watertown. Toby, did you find anything? You bet. I just found out the Strombone Enterprises is planning to destroy the parks of Greendale and Watertown. Not only to exterminate all the ants within every park, he plans to destroy the park entirely, to create a utopia of condos in his place. What about you, Tear? We found the maps and blueprints at the exact same point you described. It's true! We found an empty office with a compass, books, and everything! Great job, girls. Now come on. Let's get out of here before they catch us all. Get them! Harry? Jody? Are you girls okay? 
okay, Toby? Me too, but for some strange reason, I feel weird. What do you mean, Tear? Don't you ever get that feeling that the world has gotten bigger? <gasps> oh no! Girls, our world hasn't gotten bigger! We've shrunken down to ant size! What? Toby? What do you mean we've shrunk? But how could we possibly shrink? That's physically impossible! Actually, I remember exactly what happened. You see, earlier I went to the conference room to listen to Strombone's master plan, and he said he would spray pesticides to all the parks of both cities, and that the pesticides were manufactured by the hair doctor, the only doctor we know who still has an obsession for illegal human engineering. So you're saying that when Strombone caught us, he sent the pesticide truck outside waiting for us. The truck sprayed us and now we're as small as ants. How will we ever go back to normal size? Hmm. I don't know. We could always just go back to the building and find an antidote to reverse the effects. Or... We can take advantage of the situation and finally go on that nature walk that we promised. This time, because of our ant size, no soldier will ever suspect that we snuck inside the park. And still, after everything that what happened, you still want to get the one up on Margaret, don't you? That's how we bonded for years. Now come on, let's get to the park. Toby O'Keefe, wait up! Isn't this great? Just the three of us and no signs of Margaret or any soldiers. Does this mean we can go on a nature walk? You bet. You'll be getting your next nature badge in no time. Are you sure this is a... Good idea. What if something happens? Aw, uh, come on, Terry, lighten up. What's the worst that can happen? You there! I am authorized to place you both under arrest. <gasps> Jeeps! Strombone was right! This park is infested with ants! You unspeakable cat! I just need a uniform transport. He's uh, 11 5. So I can't transport if you guys don't mind. Your Majesty, 
I may be then the attendance in this mini trial. I regret to inform you, Your Majesty. Everything this woman said is true and accurate. A new anti-environmental company has recently opened up called Strombone Enterprises. It threatens to spray pesticides to shrink your colony and then destroy your colony with dynamite, killing you and everyone in Strombone's path. I should know this because I too was sprayed with a pesticide on my way to the premises. After I shrunk, I snuck into the fence and found this beautiful woman snooping in the conference room to listen to Mr. Strombone's dastardly plans. And we humans are right, your majesty. Unless your colony goes to war against Strombone Enterprises, the colony will die because of you. After you fail to make a decision that will alter their lives forever. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. The Spectres are an ideal, symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination. What? Your Majesty, are you insane? You want to sacrifice us innocent humans to send a message to an enterprise that doesn't care about any of you? And what if Vic refuses? Robin O'Kee, look at me, my darling. I will save you and all your friends before 24 hours are up. I promise you. Oh, Vic, you're my hero. Well, you're still my little mud mummy, huh? Hey, quit making fun of me. Don't you have a detective to rescue? Maybe I will, Miss Robin O'Kee. I'll be back, I promise. The Council has found no evidence. Your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. Your Majesty, you're a liar! You'll never get away with this! How? This meeting is adjourned. Sounds creepy, doesn't it? It's a tradition going back generations. Yeah, I guess we all learn something new every day, huh? Outstanding. 
Hey, Strombo, only you can prevent forest fires. has thoroughly reviewed and considered the record concerning defendant's trial, affirming the sentence of death by the procedures required by law. Toby, do something! Well, girls, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> Toby, Terry, we'll treasure our memories together forever. And I will too. Goodbye, girls! May God have mercy on your soul. Wait, your majesty, hold up! <laughs> your majesty, the war is over. Strombone is defeated. I repeat, the war is over. There will be no corporal redemption for you. Oh, Vic, you're back. I thought I would never see you again. Oh, Vic. I thought we were done for. I'm so glad you came back for us. Vic! Please promise you won't leave us ever again. Promise! No need to worry, girls. I promise. The court agrees with the jury's unanimous recommendation based on its own assessment of the aggravating factors weighed against the mitigating circumstances. Thank you, Your Majesty. However, I do remember hearing that you created an antidote that can change us back to normal. Do you have it? The court finds that the jury's recommendation is consistent with its verdict. I am very grateful that I live in a country where people can believe. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Majesty. We'll see you on the other side. on a nature walk? Yes, Miss Robin O'Keefe. It sure is. Although I am a little nervous. There's nothing to worry about, Vic. Yeah! Come on, Vic! This is gonna be fun! If you say so, girls. If you say so. As we are finally allowed to enter the park for our long-awaited nature walk, I wondered what Strombone had against the cities of Greendale and Watertown. Will we ever find out more about Kurt Strombone and his hatred of our town? Regardless, whether he's willing to talk to us or not, I know just who to turn to. Oh well, as I always say, danger is my homework. <laughs>